No way. Hello fellas, I noticed that there are tons of ChatGPT versus Gemini videos out there, but none of them actually push AI to its real limits. I spent hours crafting the most precise, detailed, and high-level prompt I've ever written and forced both AIs to build their own version of Counter-Strike. So I dropped this huge prompt into ChatGPT. Seriously, the biggest prompt I've ever seen, and even added a couple of reference photos. Let's see what ChatGPT cooks up. So the code is finally ready. ChatGPT spent almost 10 minutes generating this, and the code is huge. Look at this. It just keeps going and going. Let's put the code into Visual Studio and see what we get. All right, this menu actually looks really clean for an AI-made game. Controls on the left, match info on the right. Everything's easy to read. CS-inspired dust vibe. Yeah, that is pretty funny name. So the game actually looks pretty good so far. The movement is giving me a bit of trouble, but whatever. We'll fix that later. And these guys over here? Yeah, they're already stuck. Honestly, they're no different from real teammates. Same vibe, same energy. The map is huge, way bigger than I expected. You can really tell the AI tried to build a full layout instead of some tiny test room. Bullet animation look nice. The whole thing feels surprisingly smooth. And look at this little guy hiding here. <laughs> cute little enemy. The death animation is actually pretty solid. But yeah, you can already see the issue. The logic just isn't kicking in. No reactions, no movement, nothing. All right, let's fix that. Let's quickly check the chat as well. It works perfectly. I asked ChatGPT to make the map smaller and more dynamic, fix the movement, and clean up the bot logic. Let's jump back and see what it came up with. The menu is still the same, but the map is definitely smaller now. My teammates are already pushing into the enemies. <laughs> that is pretty funny. No! We just lost one of ours, but I'm going to take revenge for him. This is actually pretty tough. I'm already down to 10 HP. I'll try to play this carefully and take him out. There we go. Also, look at the bottom of the screen. The chat isn't standing still at all. They're actually talking to each other the whole time. All right, let's tilt the enemies a bit. You know, classic sweaty school kid energy. So now I asked ChatGPT to give me a knife and a pistol as my second and third weapons. Let's see if it can actually handle that. Okay, I can actually switch to the pistol. And the knife too, that's really cool. Let's see if I can actually get a kill with the pistol. And yeah, that works. Okay, let's try this guy too. Actually, you know what? Let's just stab him instead. Whoops. Honestly, while I was playing, I completely forgot this was even a video. I actually got absorbed into the game. ChatGPT really surprised me with how far it pushed this. But trust me, Gemini did something very different. So before we move on, if you want the full prompt or the source code, check the Discord link in the description. Alright, now let's move on to Gemini. I gave it the exact same prompt and the same references. So let's see what it can do. So, the game is called Dust Operations. The the menu isn't as impressive as the one ChatGPT made, but to be fair, it's clean, simple, and everything is easy to understand. Let's take a look. All right, fellas, first look, and this actually feels really cool. Bots are already pushing, like they've got something to prove. The muzzle flash animation looks great too. Let me check the chat real quick. It works. The whole game actually feels alive. Wait, why are my teammates running away? What did they see over there? Let's just try to take someone out. But this is actually pretty hard. They are not standing still at all. All right, let's follow this guy. Where is he even going? Probably got scared. Let's just kill the enemies. Look at this dude hiding. What a little rat. And the reload animation, by the way, actually pretty nice. Let me ask for some help in the chat real quick. Maybe the teammates will actually react to this. Bye, bitch! Yeah, of course. My luck with teammates is always the same. Before jumping into the next changes, I played around 10 rounds. And honestly, the game feels really alive. Like surprisingly alive for something fully generated by AI. Let's tell Gemini to add a proper Counter-Strike style weapon selection and see if it can actually handle that. The game is ready, and yep, it actually added the weapon selection. Let's start with the sniper. And honestly, it looks pretty solid. Bots are going crazy out here, and... It one-shots, just the way I like it. Let's try to take him out real quick. Hitting shots here is harder than I expected. Not sure if that's the game or my professional aim acting up again. Okay, let's test this one now. Maverick? I'm not even sure. Is this an SMG or some kind of rifle? I'm curious if they change the damage on this one too, like they did with the sniper. Well, pretty much the same as the starter gun. All right, let's test the pistol real quick. I'm trying to figure out whether this thing is just a standard sidearm, or if it's basically a deagle in disguise. Yeah, this is definitely a deagle. So, I asked Gemini to add a knife as a secondary weapon. Let's see if I can actually use it this time. I'm just sprinting at them like a maniac with this knife. 
Do I... Do I even deal damage? Or am I just waving it in the air? Alright, one more try. Here he is, just standing here. And my teammates won't even let me try to knife him. I think I finally figured out what I need to do. Alright, let's just make this game a little more realistic, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry guys, it's not that I hate playing with teammates. I just, you know, prefer when they don't ruin my plans. And here we go again, he didn't let me. Okay buddy, you're gonna regret that. Come here. No, no, don't run, I just wanna talk. Alright fellas, so now I asked Gemini to add a proper bomb planting mode, just like in real Counter-Strike. What? Someone actually planted it. Okay, hold on. There he is, and his teammate instantly ran away. Let me try defusing it. Uh... I'm pressing everything right now, none of this is working. Okay, let's check. E. Of course it's E. Alright, second round, let's try this again. Now we're planting the bomb? So they're the ones defusing? All of them just rushed in at once. I thought we were supposed to be the ones defusing. I just asked Gemini to give me a team selection menu, and it actually did. Which is not surprising, because this thing can do anything. Let's start. And... We really did spawn on the other side. I'll just wait here until they plant the bomb. Should be easy. Here he comes. Look at this little rat creeping in. Go on, go on. Plant it already. There we go. We take this rat out, run towards bomb, and press E. Wait. No way. I actually defused the bomb in this game. I did not expect that to work. What is Gemini even capable of? These AIs actually surprised me. I did not expect them to create a game this good from just one prompt. ChatGPT was solid, cool animations, good mechanics, but Gemini felt alive. The bots were moving, reacting, playing like real opponents, and Gemini understood everything from the first try. Meanwhile, with ChatGPT, you didn't see it on video, but I spent hours trying to explain what I wanted, and half the time it just threw errors at me. But overall, both of them delivered something way cooler than I expected. So now the real question is, what game should I make next? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. I'll see you in the next one.